So when I do this session, I'll put the chairs back to back and uh, I'll be showing you some of the elements of uh, coaching effectively on the phone. Now, first of all, let me tell you what some of them are. Uh, one is that we tend to use more placement kinds of imagery. So at the beginning of a session, we'll tell people where we are. You know, the ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a your client phones you. The client always phones you. Did you know that, everybody? Uh, because when the client phones you, they're taking responsibility for the session, for the results, for everything. Remember, the golden rule is the client does the work and you get paid. Mm -hmm. So in the session, they phone you and um, you tell them a little bit where you are, what, what's going on, what you see. So it's like, I'm, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm on Granville Island. It's a beautiful day in Vancouver. Uh, it's uh, one of those lovely spots on, in the world where people come for holidays. So where are you? Do you see what I'm doing? I'm giving them an image. I, if I'm sitting beside a window, I'll tell them that. But just a quick little image. It starts rapport. It also starts the visual brain going, and they remember what you look like. Now they see you on Granville Island, and they've got a sense of, there she is, just like you do when you sit down beside somebody, and it starts rapport absolutely. Now the second thing we do is throughout the session, we tend to um, give details of our responses. You know, when you said that, you would have seen my eyes go, eyebrows go right up. I was so surprised. Sometimes we use, and I, I frequently use actually, Skype. Skype is wonderful because if you're doing a person-to-person -person call, uh, you can use your whiteboard. You can show them your picture, just like you would right here. If you can't show them your picture, uh, then have them draw one of their own. And uh, that's easy. Ask them just to put a scale from 1 to 10 on the page. Ask them to uh, draw the wheel, which we'll be explaining more about later. Or a uh, logical levels form, which we're going to use this afternoon shortly. So pretty soon they'll be able to use all the pictures that you're using. Uh, and tell them if you write, if they say a value word or they say, my purpose is to get da 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 da. And I say, I just wrote that down. Why don't you write it on your page as well? So make sure they come with paper. And um, that allows them to have the rapport of uh, using the same image that you're using. And it assists a lot. OK, those are the main things we do. Um, we slow down a little bit in a telephone session because when people talk, um, it's harder to understand the words over the phone. So it just makes, uh, makes it more congruent. People stay more relaxed if you slow your tonality just a bit. And that's the basics right there. Any questions?